वाले बाबू वेलकम्स यू शॉर्ट हैंड डिक्टेशन इन मेल एंड फीमेल वॉइस फ्रॉम ऑल सोर्सेस लाइक मैगजीन्स स्पीचेस एंड एडिटोरियल्स एट वेरियस स्पीड्स अप टू वन ट्वेंटी डब्ल्यू पी एम फॉर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक एस एस सी डी एस एस बी सी आर पी एफ दिल्ली पुलिस एक्सेट्रा प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू एक्सरसाइज नंबर टेन बिकॉज द बेसिस ऑफ द कांग्रेस इथोस एंड इट्स इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल पॉलिसी हैज बीन इंडिपेंडेंट नेशनल इकोनॉमी अ कंट्री लाइक इंडिया if it has to follow an independent policy of non alignment it cannot follow that policy unless it's build up a national economy it should be an independent national economy based on social justice commitment to socialism democracy and secularism which jawahar lal nehru put forward and behind which in parliament and in the country there was a national consensus our consensus prime minister when he talks of the unity and independence of the country threats from outside and the economic imperialism that is threatening the development of independent economy the emphasis you will find is on public sector building up the rural sector growth and social distribution and on that basis building an economy based on self reliance and not dependent on foreign capital assistance the fact is that india is shining example in the present day world when you have an adverse international economic environment when economic assistance is going down the multilateral assistance is cut down the ida aid is cut down and policies are framed all round so that our export trade development and our export promotion is faced with greater difficulty even then because of the economic policies laid down by Jawahar Lal Nehru and successively followed by Indira ji and reinforced through this budget by the present prime minister it shows that this is the only way and this is the only model in which india should develop if it wants to maintain its dignity and emerge as a prosperous and strong country so this myth is demolished that this budget is anti poor or anti growth or this budget is anti social justice actually it aims to achieve all these objectives he has also demolished the myth that this government or the government's economic policy is not for the poor but is more concerned about the upper middle class this is all demolished and i think it is necessary that in this house there is consensus behind the new path or rather the new enforced path that is short to be made out by this budget similarly 
the budget aims at promising growth and if you see you will find that a number of concessions have been given to industries engaged in mass consumption goods not caring to the needs of the affluent a number of measures have been suggested i need not go into debt it particularly tries to promote indigenous capital goods industry which is the basis of self reliance and which is the basis of promoting growth in the future development of our country thank you